let's talk about solar-powered streetlights. And the most common solar-powered streetlight has an LED light. Here is our example with the LED head showing us the two panels that are mounted to the, at the top of the pole. Now let's take a look at a complete system. Now here's a complete system where you see the panels and you see the LED light and you see that the box contains the batteries and the controller. This one is mounted up high so again it's tamper proof. Most of these systems are fairly maintenance free. Never really need to do anything. They really take care of themselves. So let's start and to go into more detail about the hardware that's in the system. Here we see all the hardware that comes to this specific set. It says we have our 40 watt lamp. It says how long it's working. It tells us all the details. You can stop the movie and read in more detail about what all comes with this package. Now, let's take a look at the head. Now, the LED light head, these come in many different shapes, lots of different sizes. And again, here, we'll kind of go down and you can see the specifications that are showing that these and most all of them are AC or DC. So if you have existing AC powered uh, high pressure sodium or mercury vapors on the street lights, you can just switch right over. And if you would want to put the panels, you can run DC to these. Now, just by switching over from a mercury vapor high pressure sodium to the LEDs, you will see an average of an 80% electrical cost reduction annually. Now, this is documented all over the internet, and we'll be showing some, some examples of that today. So now let's go down to one of the key controllers here, our charge controller. This, if you have the solar panels, this will take your DC. This will keep the DC charge of the battery and keep the battery cells at an even charge. This is a very important part of the whole system. And as you can see in this diagram right here, it shows you how the whole system works. Coming down, here's some of the specifications for that. Each system will have, will require a different size battery, but most all of them are going to be 12 and 24 volt. So now that's the most common hardware. Now you've got different options on where we can keep the batteries. Here is an example of taking and putting the batteries at the base of your pole. Your charge controller is in there, your batteries are there, and you've got it's easy for access for any type of maintenance that you would actually want to do on this. Now you have another option where you could mount the batteries underground. Here we have an example of a watertight box that would be mounted underground. And now that's the most common. So now let's let's look at the characteristics of the LED light. Now with the LED light here, now PG&E had a, an assessment done where they switched over and you can see the difference. It's like night and day. Here we have what was there. And by installing the LED lights, even at a lower watt, you, it's brighter. It's just clean and easy to see with the LED lights at night. Now let's go and have a look at What's happening around the world? It says time to shine. The time to shine is now for LED lights. And here it's this is at the Consumer Energy Report website. And this is going and telling us about some of the stimulus funds that have been put out. And this example that we're going to talk about right now is what happened in, in San Jose. Now in San Jose they went and they installed 250 LED street lights. They're planning on switching over to 65,000 streetlights by the year 20, 2022. But in this article, one of the key things here that's, that's showing what has happened says this is where the city believes installing LED streetlight system pays off. 
to the tune of 80% energy use reduction per year. And that's a very important part. So your return on investment is already seen right there, 80% reduction in electricity annually just by switching over. That's not talking about using the solar panels. So let's go and ha have a look at some of the other statistics that, that are out there that I can show you today. Now here is uh, mercury vapor, high pressure sodium, and here is uh, a brand of an LED light. Now as you can see with uh, mercury vapor is 138 watt. Um, high pressure sodium is running at 90 watt and the same looms that you can get from the LED is only using 67 watts. Now from mercury vapor down to LED, we've got almost 50% reduction just in watts right there. Now another feature with LEDs, as you can see, the lifetime hours for an LED light is 60,000 hours. Uh, high pressure sodium, the bulb is gonna last 20,000 to 30,000. Uh, and a uh, mercury vapor, the bulb will only last 60,000 to 10,000 hours. Very major. So now the other thing that you're going to reduce is the CO2 emissions. And this example is showing us that our different types of bulbs, from our incandescent, mercury vapor, high pressure, low pressure sodium, and our LEDs. And as you can see, it's showing us by the kilogram. And this is showing us that an incandescent ordinary light bulb running at 60 watts is going to give us 60 kilos. So again, 60 kilos, so let's go to pounds. Times that times 2.2. And our high pressure sodium is gonna be producing 12 kilos of CO2 emissions, while LED lighting is only producing two. Major, major change, major difference. So now overall, with a switchover from a standard lighting that we have used today to LED, you've got an 80% electrical cost reduction just by switching to LEDs. That's not to mention with the solar panels which you are totally free of the grid. And you have an enormous CO2 reduction. These systems are compliant to government tax credit programs where you can deduct this or some of the programs, they'll even give you up 30%. Um, you do, when you're using solar panels, you have a fast investment return because you're not paying for any electricity. It's paying for itself just by being there and the sun is doing all the work for you. So you're gonna be saving the planet, saving money, and you will completely brighten the light. So any sales questions you would have, please contact sales at buyerisland.net. And if you would want to know more information on other green energy products, you can go to buyerisland.net, green power link, or contact us at support at buyerisland.net. Thank you very much and think green.